this right here is an island and it's it's like 60 foot deep out here it's 25 foot right here and then about 10 foot off the shore it's about 15 foot that's what we're trying to target right now is points out on the main lake with big uh, steep drop-offs where the fish can run up and down on them to feed and back here around this corner there's a lot of rock it doesn't really feel like there's too much up here. We got some some wood under us, but that's about it. Probably end up going back and fishing out again. Fish six, crawl daddy sent. You want some of this? Yeah, so strong. It smells like an Italian restaurant. There's one. Little guy. There he is. Uh, about two pounder. Oh, nah, that's a nice one. It's like a two and a half. It's two and a half, but it's mine. Strike King Rage Crawl. Got my fish sticks on there. Smokes them. All right. We were going to put them in a live well to get a good picture of a bunch of fish, but I don't want to run my pumps and all that and get water in my, in my lines with it freezing up tonight. Get a weight on this guy here quick. Send a picture to Zach because he can't be here right now because he's sick. Poor little guy. Oh, yeah. mine was bigger. Just over two. Alright. Not a bad day of winter fishing. Send a picture of that quick. Put my phone out here. Check out my Snapchat, my Instagram. All kinds of pictures on there. There he goes. Using 12 pound Seaguar braided line. Got a furnace bay, 6'6 medium heavy. Or no, actually just medium with a fast tip. We had a lot of goofy weather here in PA lately. It's one minute, it's, or one day it's 70 degrees out, the next day it's like this out, 30 degrees. We're getting warm rain and we're getting sleet. So the lakes are just all over the place, but they seem to be hanging about 46 degree water temperature. So at least we're getting somewhat of a pattern established now. All the fish are about 20 foot off the shore, right around 20 feet deep. And they just went real slow right now. He, he hit it a couple times real soft. And I could feel it. I actually thought it was a small one, like a bait fish or something. And then I just let it sit there. And I started twitching it real light and pulling it some more. And then that's when he sucked it up. I just felt my line get heavy. I think I got like a 3 8 ounce weight on. It's not tungsten. Tungsten's too expensive for me. Oh, yeah. You got one? Oh, 
off. Dude, it came off. It freaking came off. Yeah, man, you gotta set the hook. I did, but like. Dude, I saw it too. Wilson oh. just, just had one right here. Pulling it in, got it like all but to the boat and it, and it popped off. Here, let me just let you back up here. <laughs> Dude, there's one. Dude, that's a good one, man. There we go. Man, I was like, man, something. What are you down here? <laughs> Dude, I was like, feels weird. And I was like, I started reeling it up. And he smacked it. Man, he choked that sucker. Look at that. That's what fish sticks in a rage crawl gets you. Look at that. That's a chunk right there, boys. Where my phone at? All right, let's weigh this baby. I'm gonna say three. Maybe three and a half. No way. That's what your fish weighed. And this one's definitely bigger. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Three pounds, 13 ounces, almost a four pounder. About 18 inches. Cool. Too bad I don't got the live well fired up today. <laughs>